Welcome back, guys. So just the other day, we took a look at some must-have Nintendo Switch Lite accessories to keep your brand new system protected, clean, all that good stuff. And today, we've got a quick follow-up on a handful of other items, specifically from Hori, that I think are pretty interesting. So in the previous video, we took a look at the Hori armor, which was my favorite accessory so far. We took a look at the Dora Flexi protector, which was pretty neat, and the RDS Industries carrying case that has a built-in stand that I thought was pretty awesome. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll put a card up top somewhere so you can see my thoughts on those items. But the one thing that I didn't realize is in the US, they only had the gray version of this, which was kind of unfortunate because as you see, I have the turquoise switch light. In Japan, they do have the yellow and the turquoise version. I don't know why they didn't release them in the US, but if you want one of these, I'll put a link in the description to where you can import them, um, which is what I had to do. And for me, it was worth it. I really like this accessory. So just to real quick show it to you, once again, the turquoise version. I love this thing because just like, your system just easily goes in and is removed if you don't want it to stay in there. Uh, it protects your system from you know minor shocks and bumps and all that good stuff. And it does have these nice little grips on the side that just makes it a heck of a lot more comfortable. I've been using my Switch Lite a lot with this case on it, and I'm really digging it. All the ports are open, everything's still available and easily used. You know, you could charge it, put in a micro SD card, your game card, all that good stuff. It does have those raised buttons on the top for the volume and power and all that good stuff. I really dig this case. Just sucks that they didn't release these colors in the US, but hey, it is what it is. Let's take a look at the new stuff I want to talk about. Like I said, specifically from Hori. So one of the items is going to be this screen and system protector. This system protector I find pretty interesting. It is a hard shell. It's a clam shell that has a built-in stand. So I think some people might find this interesting. It also comes with a screen protector. We're going to take that out in a second. But first, let's look at the Slim Tough pouch from Hori. I always dig these pouches. I always like having my systems and handhelds uh, put in pouches to keep them protected when I'm not using them or when I'm traveling or, you know, if I'm going somewhere, put it in my car, drop it on my passenger seat, you know, don't have to worry about much. Damn, I didn't realize this thing was going to be bright ash yellow on the inside. Wonder, uh, I did say on the, uh, the back here that it's yellow or it shows that it's yellow. I just didn't realize it. Wow, damn thing is yellow. But pretty nice you have a little space here for cartridges if you want to put some in here you got 10 slots little accessory pouch and your system sits down here nice little uh, felt feeling there so nothing's going to get scratched up i'm curious with this armor if we can close the system up so this flap covers the screen a little extra protection for the screen and yeah it does close up it's a nice little tight fit I feel like if I drop this from a few feet, my system will be protected. It is a nice little tough pouch, a little bit of flex to it, but it's definitely not soft. It is a, a hard pouch, so that is pretty nice. If you have something like this, one of these extra cases, I would not put anything in the accessory pouch uh, because I think that's what's kind of giving us a little extra space to close this, but definitely I think they designed this without stuff like this in mind, even though... Hori makes most of these items we're looking at, uh, but the system does sit in there just fine. A little bit of a, a little bit of shake. You can feel the system moving around a little bit um, without that case on it. With a case, it's definitely tight in there, but yeah, it's gonna move a little bit, um, but it still seems fairly well protected. So let's take a look at the next thing real quick. Uh, the screen and system protector. Like I said, this is a clamshell design. Um, both of these items are around $20 each. Uh, you know, I'll put links in the description. Maybe they're a little less, but I believe when I ordered them, uh, they were 20 bucks each. So here's the clamshell. Throwing the trash out of the way here. Uh, it's probably going to be kind of hard to see until I put the system in there because it is a clear shell. But we do have a uh, stand on the back, a little kickstand. Um, you have the hinges on the bottom. All the ports are opened. Um, you have some clasps, it looks like, to keep this thing closed once you put it on your system. So we'll test that out in a second. Um, 
It also comes with a screen protector. And I had already looked at this screen protector because I find it pretty interesting. There's a cutout on the side, about an inch, where you take it off. And that's the only part of the that's exposed. And you kind of line it up. And then you peel from there and smooth it out so you don't get bubbles. I don't really care for these kind of screen protectors. I always use tempered glass. Um, and I have a tempered glass screen protector on my system right now. Uh, these ones, I'll put a link in the description as well. Uh, you get a three pack for seven bucks. They work nice, looks nice, doesn't really bother me, but let's go ahead and see how this fits. Oh, you also do have some grippage on the side there, but let's get the system in there. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to put in a little bit of work here to make sure all the little clasps click. There we go. Yeah, you don't want this. Uh, there's where it's gotta kind of clip in on the side. Uh, one right there, one right there, one right there, and then on the side as well. Those all have to click for this to be a uh, completely on there that actually doesn't feel too bad um it's a hard plastic has that little kickstand let's take a look at that i think that's one of the biggest selling points probably for this this case but there we go if you want to if you want to have a little a little tabletop mode with uh, your switch light you want to use some extra controllers there you go uh this is a neat case I think it's pretty cool to be honest though. I don't really need the kickstand, um, but I could see some people being interested in that. And with it coming with a screen protector as well, that's an added bonus. So can't complain on that. These accessories definitely, I mean, you're paying a premium because they're, they're officially licensed and they're coming from Hori. Uh, I'm sure there's other equivalents out there. Uh, you know, I know a lot of Chinese companies are making stuff like this as well, but I haven't looked at any of that stuff. I've only been interested in the officially licensed stuff that is sold in the U S in stores. Uh, so that's all I've looked at so far. Um, I am digging this pouch. I'll probably keep this one on. Uh, don't anybody tell anyone, but my, my middle kid, my son, uh, I am getting him a switch light for his birthday. So I'll probably give him this case and I'll hook him up with this uh, armor or the little clamshell design stand, whichever one he likes the most, but I, I really like these armors. So I'll probably give him one of those and that, that case. Um, but there you go. My thoughts, um, I could do without this case. It's okay. So far out of everything, if you've watched both of my videos concerning switch light accessories, so far my favorite stuff is this. The tempered glass screen protectors that I've listed um, on the previous video and, and this pouch. I'm really digging this pouch. Nothing wrong with this one from RDS Industries. It actually looks a lot, you know, it looks a lot nicer in my opinion, but I just feel like the fit is a little nicer in this one because um, I, I don't really care about the stand that's in here. I haven't used it. So it's just more to me, it's more of a hassle having to undo everything uh, every time I want to take my system out where this just kind of sits in there. It's, it's, a, it's a minor thing. Some people may find this useful, um, but I, I like the simplicity of this pouch, this carrying case a bit better. So, hey, there we go. My picks are these two items plus tempered, tempered glass screen protector, but I just wanted to share my thoughts uh, with all this stuff with you guys. Um, if I had to purchase these things again or choose, because I spent a bunch of money on accessories. I have multiples. I'll probably give stuff away. Like these Doraflex, I don't know how I messed up, but I ordered like three of these by accident. I don't need these things. So do I return them or do I give them away? I'll probably just give them away. Um, we are going to be doing a switch light giveaway coming up pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. I might just bundle stuff like this with that as well. Um, so there we go. Uh, I wouldn't personally buy this case again. Uh, this stand clamshell case. Uh, if I had to choose, it would just be these two items plus screen protector. I don't know if I already said that. I'm under the weather, guys. I'm still trying to get better. Next year, when my kids go back to school, I'm going to be a boy in a bubble so I don't get caught up in all these sicknesses going on out here because 
man, this has been holding me back. But hey, I really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me, checking my video out. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Thumb butt. Bye.